afternoon, this is Boise Fruit, and today is December 21st, 2021, and today I'm going to try the Labricha Fig. I bought this fig from Fruit Nut on Figbid this past year in May, so it's about seven months, or about six and a half months since I got this plant, maybe even a little bit less. And I've done everything I could possibly do to make sure I got a ripe fig off of this as soon as possible. I put it under grow lights, I've babied it, I put it in a good pot with lots of fertilizer, and so I'm happy to get one piece of fruit off of it. Um, I've never tried this variety, like I said. It's supposed to be pretty good, from what I've read, and it's fairly rare at the moment, at least here in the United States. I'm sure other places it's not that rare. Um, the pictures I saw of it didn't look quite like the one I have here, but I think that's probably because it's the first fig from this tree. <clears throat> Oftentimes what I've noticed is the first fig will be a little bit more green than the figs that come after it. So that's probably why it's a little bit more green. Also, since it's growing in a greenhouse, that also seems to make the, green, the figs be a little bit more green, especially if they're ripening in the winter time like this one is because the, the sun that's coming through the greenhouse is not as strong. But uh, really excited to try it. So let's cut it open and take a look inside. That looks like a really good fig. It looks, um, I'm trying to figure out what variety it looks most similar to that I've tried so far. Perhaps something with a, maybe more like a cold de dom kind of texture than some of the other figs I've had. It doesn't have much of a cavity inside, which is interesting. It's got a pretty dark red. It looks like the stem didn't ripen completely, but there's plenty of texture there that looks really good, so I'm excited to try this. Let's take a closer look at the inside of this guy. Green skin for the most part. It does have a little bit of darkness in there, but I think this is because it's the first fig off this tree and it's also ripening in the greenhouse in the middle of December, so you can't expect perfect results. But overall, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and try this fig. It looks really good and hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. I'm gonna think I'm gonna cut one of the halves in half. That way I can save a portion for it for my wife. She'll probably like that. So a little quarter here. Let's try it. Oh, that's nice. It's denser. I've been eating I-258 figs that have been coming ripe for me the past couple weeks. And this one is much denser, much thicker. Um, I like the texture a lot, actually. Uh, it's more luxurious, I would say, as a, uh, in comparison to like the I-258. I-258 tastes fantastic, but this is a more luxurious fig, at least in my opinion, flavor-wise. Let me try one more piece here. Yeah, more luxurious, smoother. Texture is very nice. It fills up your mouth. So very good fig. Highly recommend this variety if you can get it. Um, yeah, really good fig. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.